Hello there everyone this is Jasneet Singh also known as Innovative Coder and I'm the founder of Innovative Labs you can reach out to me on all of these platforms I'm available on YouTube LinkedIn Twitter no I'm not on TikTok because TikTok is banned in India and Behance and Ripple even if TikTok was not banned then I was also not on TikTok I'm on Instagram very much active on reels very much active on IGTV very much active on the post and feed and on DMs so reach out to me on Instagram if you need any kind of support if you need any kind of help if you are new to the channel then please hit that subscribe button i will really appreciate your subscription okay so the main motto of this video is how to make your github look like this and it look good doesn't it look super beautiful doesn't it look like it's come directly from heaven this is actually the new look of your github profile if you haven't upgraded then please upgrade and i will walk you through the process of upgrading in this particular session in this particular video now the basic thing is that this is actually a new section which github provides where you can actually brief your introduction where you can actually write about yourself you can write your heart out you can write your professional experience just how your personality is or what your purpose is and by the purpose i mean if you are an entrepreneur then you need to talk about your ventures if you are a coder and you want to fetch a job then uh, it's about your skills it's about your who you are what your um, hrs want to look you, look at you right uh, so actually this is the this is the area what was uh, what you had earlier you had your print repositories which have done well then you have your contributions uh kind of this progress bar progress what what whatever we call it and then this is your contribution activity and stuff so not going into that much uh, back that much history talking about this stuff now actually i have done a little bit of uh, manipulations with this kind of i have used one add on which is this part which is hits and what is actually hits so hit is actually your page view counter so uh, just as you like you have your google which is go.gl right or you have your bitly something similar is your hits with hits you can embed that into your markdown and then you can see this is kind of an analytics right then you can see who uh, what number of people have actually visited your profile so currently it shows me 19 which is not Uh, a great number, but yes, this is kind of a number which I have right now. If you want to follow me on GitHub, then I have provided the link in description. I keep on uh, starting a few repositories which can be useful for you, so it would be good if you uh, if you follow me on GitHub. Now, talking about how you can actually set up this complete part. So this is actually uh, what you do using something known as special repositories. Now, what are actually GitHub special repositories? So this is actually a new feature. So what I'll do would be I'll just go over here. I'll come. I'll I'll copy this complete stuff, and I'll just do GitHub readme, and I'll just paste the stuff over here. Okay, done. Done for now. Done and dusted. Now I will go to go over here repositories, and I will I will just delete that repository because. I want to show it to you from scratch. Okay, let me just do that. I'll just go to settings, and voila, we'll delete the stuff. Just copy. Now paste. I understand and delete it. That will ask me my password. I'll give that. Super cool. Now. what i'll do would be i'll make a new repository i'll name it the same name i have on my username so you need to name it same what your username is and oh wait a minute i think i you know wait a okay you know wait a yeah cool and quickly it shows me you found a secret innovative coder slash github uh, slash innovative coder is a special repository that you can use to add a readme to your github profile make sure it's public and initialize it as readme to get started so now you need to take care that you need to make it public you can't go private with this one okay and also initialize it with me with a readme okay create repository and voila this is something you get now let's see the code 
and these this is by default uh, kind of a boilerplate you get so what you can do is you can just remove this stuff and just paste it over here and preview changes so this is kind of something your uh, your markdown will actually look like so, so this is something which will be displayed on your profile right now you need to decide what you need to put in what how you need to change it i will just copy and paste my earlier stuff so i'll just do command v yeah looks cool yeah okay now no, this coffee sign should be oh shit coffee and okay 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 looks 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 decent i think in markdown it will look good uh okay so there's no high there which is which should not be the case it should have been a high there we'll give it an h1 okay uh, we'll give it an h1 hmm. and we'll give it a hash now for this one okay so notion has done a little a bit of bad stuff over here which it should not have done okay everything is working fine if you want to put this kind of thing wherein you have a, a redirection kind of you want to make a funnel so what you can actually do is you can follow this uh, this structure of your markdown where you have the name in uh, squares what do you call it? square brackets actually yeah, sorry square brackets and uh, uh, that thing in your these circular brackets and that's how you actually make your github profile look more sexier more cooler uh, in short it looks a lot better right now what you do is you just you just do an update readme commit changes if i do a commit change then what happens if i go on my on my main profile section and i see this thing updated right looks super awesome looks super cool now what i need to do is i so earlier you guys remember i had this hits thing i talked about that how you can actually add hits in your repository so i want to add hits somewhere over here so firstly i'll make the space for it right and now i need to go on this link so i'll give this link in the uh, link in the description so i'll give this link in the description you can check that out from there what you need to do is you need to just go over here and type your username coder okay and then you also need to type repository name innovative coder which should be the same and you need to copy this this batch so this is hits hits is actually uh, powered by DWYL. So DWYL is an organization which actually produces a lot of badges. So you must have seen uh, these badges on a lot of prof profiles. So build, processing, coverage and all of these things, right? Contribution and stuff. So now what you can do is you can actually use HITS as well, which is powered by DWYL. It's an open source organization. All of the content is free. All of their code is free. You can go on to their GitHub and just start the repo and read about the documentation here and there. And if you also want to uh, solve the bugs, then solve the issues, then you can also do that. Because there is one main issue I'm going to talk about in this video as well, which is actually quite troublesome, right? So what you need to do is now you need to add, you just need to do a copy paste and preview changes. Voila, I have my hits over here, right? And it's, it is showing 21 now, which is good, kind of cool, right? Now, uh, let me just do changes, profile hits added. Okay, uh, I can also add Gitmoji, but no issues. I won't add it over here. Commit changes and cool. Now I go over here and I can see hits 23. You just remember currently we saw 21 and now we are seeing 23. Now the problem over here is A, you can use it for your your, for your any for your analytics and stuff yeah right you can you can do a lot of stuff you can uh, make a complete funnel out of it and, and you can do a lot a lot of things i can currently think a ton of things that's why my voice is also shaking right now because i can like there are no foundations of what i can do with this stuff but there is a huge problem in that thing the problem is if i refresh so i have just pressed command r if i refresh it is 24 if i again refresh it is 25 you see right so it's actually counting my refreshes also and my views also which is a huge bug in this one so 
until then if 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 this bug is not resolved till this bug is not resolved until then you can use it for some random stuff but once this bug is resolved it would be actually very cool to see because it would it would be really a very good parameter to see how much traffic you you cover right how much traffic you get on your uh, get a profile which is kind of a portfolio now because it's it's like a one standalone thing you don't need resume you don't need anything you have your introduction you have everything about you and then your hr can actually look to your repositories and see what you have coded and what stuff you have done how many languages you know and what stuff you do and and all these stuff if you want to see my repository which are not actually private like this one you can uh, go on to my github just go on to repositories and feel free to search feel free to do anything so that's all for this video guys if you have liked the video then please hit that like button please subscribe the channel and comment down your feedback i really appreciate your feedbacks you can message me on instagram on github no sorry not on github but on linkedin on twitter anywhere i am available on all platforms name is innovative code remember that